Welcome back to my channel. This story is penned by Mark Powell and Fan Sided News. Oliver Jose Marmel, born July 2, 1986, is an American professional baseball manager of the St. Louis Cardinals of Major League Baseball (MLB). As of the 2024 season, he is the youngest manager of an MLB team. Los Angeles Angels manager Ron Washington called out his own player on Tuesday night, which pits the spotlight back on Ali Marmel of the St. Louis Cardinals. For one night, the heat is off Ali Marmel of the St. Louis Cardinals, as one of his fellow managers on the West Coast outed a player to the media. Typically, that has been Marmel's job, as he's done on several occasions with former Cardinal Tyre O'Neill and even Paul Goldschmidt, to some extent. Washington called out Luis Guillermo, who was recently acquired from the Atlanta Braves, for failing to get down a squeeze bunt. Rather, Guillermo offered at a pitch outside and struck out. The Angels were down 7-6 at the time, and Washington let his frustration carry over into the post-game media session. He didn't do the job. It wasn't anything I did wrong. He didn't do the job, exclaimed Washington. Wild? He was throwing the ball in the strike zone. Why are you making excuses? He was throwing the ball in the strike zone. He did not get the bunt down. Period. Ron Washington pulls an Ollie Marmel in a bad moment that, uh, probably won't go over well in the clubhouse. Washington expected more from Guillermo, who he knew from his Braves days. While failure as it pertains to the fundamentals is unacceptable, this ought to have been handled in the clubhouse, rather than a press conference. No one knows that better than Marmel, a manager far younger than Washington who is still learning the ropes of how to lead a big league team. Respect is earned, and Marmel found out the hard way what happens when questioning a player's intentions publicly. They typically clap back, which makes for drama as folks in the media will eat up. Should the Cardinals still fire Ali Marmel? The Angels are a bad team. Frankly, they're an organization the Cardinals should not take advice from, providing even more evidence that Marmel is not the man for the job. There was some thought Marmel could be fired after last season, but instead John Moziliak opted to give him a contract extension. Given the tough start to the 2024 campaign as well, even M.O. acknowledged Marmel is on the hot seat. I still think he understands the job, I think he knows how to manage, and I think he is trying to put the right combination of player in, but at some level you've got to have some performance, we have to keep trying to go back and get this to work, and we understand if it doesn't, people are going to be held accountable and ultimately that starts with me," Moziliak said. Marmel can't afford any more outbursts like the one Washington engaged in Tuesday night, but it's a reminder that at this time last year, the Cardinals were dealing with a similar issue. Cardinals manager Ali Marmel made another classic mistake with Paul Goldschmidt It's been a tough go for Paul Goldschmidt of late, but the St. Louis Cardinals star wasn't happy with Ali Marmel's comment about his slump. St. Louis Cardinals star first baseman Paul Goldschmidt may have finally broken out of his slump on Sunday, going 2-4-5 with two RBIs. Goldschmidt raised his batting average to just under the Mendoza line in the process quelling some frustrations from a fan base that has come to expect better from him. Cardinals manager Ali Marmel gave Goldschmidt his first day off of the season in the first game of St. Louis' four-game set against the Milwaukee Brewers over the weekend. Rather than taking a mental rest day, Goldschmidt hit the batting cages and reviewed his tape in search of answers. Per Ken Rosenthal and Katie Wu of The Athletic, Marmel said Goldschmidt was not happy with his load, the gathering of momentum on his backside as he prepared to unleash his swing. Goldschmidt, according to Marmel, said he had never experienced the rhythm of his hands and hips being so out of sync, explaining to his manager, it's hard to find a solution for something that has never been a problem. When asked about Marmel's interpretation, Goldschmidt did not sound thrilled. I mean, I think there are a lot of different ways to describe it. That would probably be the easiest way, Goldschmidt replied. Cardinals manager Ali Marmel needs to stop airing dirty laundry to the media This is far from the first time Marmel has let the media in on the inner workings of the Cardinals clubhouse. With a veteran leader like Goldschmidt working through some kinks in his swing, now would be an ideal time for the Cardinals manager to put a lid on any adjustments Goldie is making. The 36-year-old is going through enough in a contract year. Obviously, I didn't even play good in spring training this year. I didn't play good in the second half last year. I'm trying to evaluate and see what is causing the swing to not be as efficient, as good as I would like," Goldschmidt said. Goldschmidt is lacking his usual quiet confidence, and it shows, as the Cardinals are 16-24 on the season. Marmel has tried moving Goldie down in the lineup and giving him time off. Hopefully for Cardinals fans, Goldschmidt's adjustments help in spite of his manager's need to let the world know about them. Please subscribe, comment, like, share and follow for more content. 
please support my channel send it to cash app dollar director 327 thank you for your gift itis greatly appreciated thanks for watching